Ultra HD, or 4K televisions, has sparked a debate among television enthusiasts. On the one hand, you've got folks saying, Ultra HD is stupid, and they back up that name calling with science-based assertions that say, look, unless you're a certain distance from the TV, you can't see the pixels anyway. On the other hand, you've got people looking at Ultra HD content on Ultra HD TVs, and they're saying, guys, this is awesome stuff. So, are the 4K naysayers just being grumps, or are the 4K flag wavers maybe drinking a little too much Kool-Aid? Well, we think the real story is somewhere in the middle. To find out, we pitted a 65-inch HD Samsung F8500 against a 65-inch Ultra HD Samsung HU8550 and streamed the same Netflix content on each, one in UHD, the other HD, to shed a little light on the topic. Now, before we get going, let me start by saying that yes, we pitted a plasma against an LED TV. We did this on purpose, and I'll explain why in a moment. Now, let's take a look at some of the same video footage side by side. From up close, and I mean about two feet away, the difference between Ultra HD and Standard HD in terms of fine detail is pretty clear. The pixels on the Ultra HD display are much smaller, and there's more information in the stream, so those added pixels contain very specific picture information. This is most obvious on big, detailed images like these flowers, where the edges are sharper and you can spot little intricacies like little hairs on the edges of petals. In HD, they just look like blurry lines, but in Ultra HD, you can better tell what they are without leaving it to your brain to get Yes. The difference is still visible when you watch more typical film and TV content, like House of Cards Season 2 or The Blacklist. You can spot more detail in people's clothes, hair looks sharper and more realistic, and the fine patterns in buildings are sharper too. But when you step back, these fine details are harder to spot, and many of the people in our office who came through to have a look for themselves were unable to pick out which TV was which with an informal glance. In fact, the passersby confirmed for us what we already suspected. Picture quality trumps resolution, even for casual viewers. The plasma's deeper blacks and superior shadow detail were far more obvious in this informal test. So here's the three big takeaway points. Number one, Ultra HD at a screen size anything less than 65 inches just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Now at 65 inches, the differences are subtle, but they are there. And then as you go up in screen sizes, it gets more prominent. Now that's just with streaming Netflix content. When we have 4K Blu-ray players, we think that the difference will be even more exaggerated. Number two, picture quality beats resolution every time. The fact is that plasma and OLED look way better than LED televisions. However, since plasma's on its way out and OLEDs are still really expensive, you should take a look at the picture quality of the TV before you start worrying about its resolution. And finally, number three, this is gonna be a moot discussion in a few years anyway. Manufacturers have made their choice. They're scaling back 1080p TV production in favor of Ultra HD TV production. And pretty soon, 1080p is gonna go the way of plasma. So 4K is here to stay, whether it's a meaningful step forward or not.